But yeah, this young man drove all the way to New York City to buy 1,200 flags to help raise money for his business. And he says many veterans feel forgotten and lost when they return home from war. And he was determined to do something about it. And what better time to do it than on the 4th of July? There's no reason in America why homeless freshers, there should be no reason that they're here. 24-year-old Antana Demasi did two tours of duty in Iraq. He knows firsthand how difficult it can be to return home from the front lines. Thank God and God willing, I came back with my mental and physical being, but not to the left and to the right of me. A lot of people weren't. And I've seen my brothers and my brothers in arms not come back. So he decided to do something about it. He started a business called Front Lines to the front office. It was created to help homeless veterans and those who suffer from post-traumatic stress. But then he was stopped in his tracks. When I went to the bank for the business loan, which is called the Patriot Express loan, which is guaranteed by the government, they turned me down for the loan. But that didn't stop Demacy. He decided to take matters into his own hands. And all it took was a box of flags, a couple of friends, and a little inspiration. And our main goal is not incentive, but take initiative. And if a lot of people live by that, by that mission, a lot of people in this world will be a better place. Selling the flags to raise money for his business, Demacy wanted to honor veterans throughout the nation. So when tonight's Rhinos game stopped at the 50-minute mark, he asked fans to wave their flags in honor of America's returning heroes. A moment Demacy hopes can inspire others to remember those who served. I just want to be the person that sees a problem solved and not just talk about it. And this 24-year-old veteran will also be teaching a military course at MCC this September. It's designed to teach veterans to start their own business, something he tried to do when he returned from war. So hopefully he can, he can continue to help others and raise mo enough money to keep his own business going. Leah? Any idea, Joe Angel, how much money he raised today? Well, he told me he sold over 200 flags today, and at $5 a pop, he seems to be well on his way. He says this is one of many events he will have to raise money, and he won't stop until he continue his business. He can continue his business for homeless veterans. Good luck to him. Joe Angel Definitely. Concepcion, thank you for that report tonight.